never. Hey, what is going on guys? Ali here back again with another review for you guys today for the rising of the shield hero season two episode four and I gotta say right off the bat that I first of all I enjoyed the episode but at the same time it's 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 frustrating and annoying that so many people who are like clearly um who who are clearly uh casual type of viewers of this series that enjoy this series immediately right off the bat without even caring to understand her character or trying to just understand where she's coming from and stuff immediately hate on Risha as a character and stuff just because she's timid that's the literally the only reason that they that they could possibly hate her because she and them just masking that as saying that she's useless when she's clearly not because she is a very informative informative person on top of being the assist char type character you know if it wasn't for her last episode like Reftal and Philo wouldn't have chopped off the head of the spirit tortoise that wouldn't have happened like it wouldn't have and just to see that this this episode was more of like a a Rishia heavy oriented oriented episode just really brought out like the hate of for of her character for some weird reason because I love her character like the moment I saw her even last season loved her she she's just an a timid but adorable character that is just trying to do her best and you see it in this episode where you you got to see more of her backstory and the reasoning as to why she she loves uh like e, uh what, what's his name itsuka or itsuki itsuki so much and everything that like she was part of a you know nobility she's nobility but it's like more on the lower part of the spectrum when it comes to nobles and 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 lords and and things like that and we got to see that little backstory with her and her parents and everything and which was something that was so great was that like the people of that village that they that they governed or that that land that they governed the people loved them which i i love it when you get to see that when like a ruler of a certain part of like land or whatever is also very beloved by its people and we got to see that we got to see this cute little girl jumping on Risha like so happy that she sees her and like it's just a cute moment and then we got to see the reasonings as to why she wanted to be with Itsuki and everything that like she because of the debt that the larger lord of like the the all in like the bigger land like the lord who's a, clearly is like a sleaze ball like garbage type of person like put all the debt onto like Risha's family or Risha's parents and whatnot and so for collateral they took Risha and threw her in a cell and and God knows what could have possibly happened if Itsuki didn't get her that like sold off somewhere horrible things happened to her like like this is a reason why she loves Itsuki and wants to and wants to repay him and give and she has such respect for him and stuff because he saved his, he saved her life he saved her life and like seeing how like he like th this is also something that I liked about uh this moment in the episode was that like you really know or understand that like the heroes besides Nafumi they're not just being like snobby characters that are just not understanding what's going on or not understanding the world well at least now because Itsuki found what the what that that larger like noble was doing where like you know he took uh Risha and stuff like uh he unveiled his like wrongdoings and stuff and saved uh Risha so it's like they know there's bad things going on and they're trying to help 
and stuff, which is really great. Motoyasu, I have no idea, but like, but Ren Nitsuki, they're clearly trying to get a lot of things done in general and stuff. And so just to see that backstory and like Risha telling everybody about it was like, it was, it was really cool. I really enjoyed it. And, uh, I like, I liked it a lot. So, um, that whole backstory and everything was great. And so now like Nafumi and his crew going into, and this is why I, I, I like Risha so much because throughout this whole thing, Alst is, is going like, you know, with them and, and whatnot to the back of the spirit tortoise um, to find out more of how to, you know, take it out. They got to know how to take it out and stuff. And seeing all of the, the, the soldiers and stuff being so kind to her, even though they all know throughout the message, through the messages of like the chat, like the Queens, like shadows and stuff and ever and, and like the message being told to all the soldiers, they're still being so kind to her and stuff. Obviously she's a pretty woman and everything, but also like, also is like, why are they like, I, I, they know what I am and what I'm trying to do, what I've been trying to do, like all this time, why are they being so like, she can't comprehend it and stuff. And, you know, Raftalia, Risha and, and Eclair and all them are comforting her saying that like, you know, it's, it's because you fought with us. You helped so many lives, even though like, a lot, like you, 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 you took lives and stuff. You you try to take souls for the spirit tortoise. You saved a ridiculous number or a ridiculous amount of care of of our soldiers and stuff. You protected us, like so. Of course, on top of her being a good looking lady, a pretty lady, she also helped save them. So it's like it that like uh, this is why I, I love this uh, more and more that I think about this episode. I love it more and more because it's very a uh, a character driven type of episode, even though, you know, they are going on to the back of the spirit tortoise, like, you know, Nafumi, Raftalia, Philo, Risha, like the, the old lady, Claire and, and Austin, all of them, like going on the back, which, which also was just like a horrific thing that like seeing the spirit tortoise kingdom completely eradicated and whatnot. And all of these people, just dead bodies everywhere and whatnot, and just the spirits tortoise kingdom, like their army, they were just like heartbroken and sad and stuff. And just like, I, I also like it that like, you know, Risha is very much somebody who, you know, she comforted Raftalia. She comforted, like she, she's a, she's, she's a support assist character. And that's absolutely needed when it comes to the military and fighting and stuff. She, comforts she comforts them she comforts Alst even though like Alst also comforts <clears throat> Rishia which was great in this episode and like she also comforts Raftalia being that like Raftalia was shaking and like you see Eclair shaking too and whatnot so it's like Risha is like very important in that like what she said was that like even though Raftalia was like hey like I know they have to get I'm I'm I know I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I got to get used to this and stuff. And then Risha's like, no, you can't get used to it. Don't get used to it. Because the, I think that the moment, which makes sense in my head, that the moment you get used to seeing all this stuff and you're not like shaken by it, you're not like terrified, terrified by it. You're not like on the verge of like throwing up or something, which Risha was until she saw how like strong Raftali was trying to be and everything when she got there, and then Granny was trying to, like, you know, console her or whatever, and she's like, you know what, Raftali is like this, I can't, I can't be like this, like, Raftali has, se has seen this shit, which, like, Eclair, I didn't know that Eclair even knew this, but Eclair saying that, like, this is the stuff that Raftali has seen in that basement prison where all of her friends died, and, and, like, Raftali being there, like that and Risha knowing that story and seeing Raftali she's like I can't I can't really be like this like I, I can't exactly be like this so she got up and she started reading and like she's a very informative type of person and I I love it I love it so much and like her yelling at Raftali is like no don't get used to it you can't get used to it and then Raftali looks at Eclair and Eclair's shaking holding her 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 forearm like shaking that like 
Yeah, it because if if you end up getting used to this, this scene of everybody like just bodies everywhere and stuff, if you end up getting used to this, that's when you kind of start to lose your humanity, you know? Like that's when you start to like lose your humanity, you start to lose your like a uh, sense of of empathy and everything you start to lose those things and Risha knows this and doesn't want this to be uh what Reftali ends up as and to see her comfort Reftali in that was just it, it was just a beautiful thing and then Claire and then like also Granny who's clearly you know probably most likely has seen a lot of this type of stuff in her life and everything so which was, you know, the whole thing was just really, like, it was emotional and character-oriented. And the majority of this episode was Risha in general. Like, her, like, character-oriented for Risha herself in how she, like, interacts with Ost, interacts with Raftalia, interacts with Eclair and everything. And it seems like, you know, bit by bit, she's kind of learning, watching these these characters watching these people, but also at the same time, she assists and comforts all of them, you know, if she need, if they need it, like, all, like, comforting, all saying that, like, you are their comrade, like, to the soldiers, that's why they, they're, they like you, and also you're very pretty and stuff, in, in my head, like, also, she's a pretty lady, and then also kind of, like, not exactly comforting Raftalia, but being, like, don't get used to it, let it out, like, make, like, if you get used to it, you're clearly going to lose yourself if you start to like get used to it and everything, which was very cool. And I loved it so much. This is why, I, like, again, like, now that I'm thinking about it right now, that's why I love this episode. Like, because of how character-driven it is in general. Like, specifically Risha. This is why I like I like Risha so much. She's a, just an, a timid, adorable cinema role, but she's a very informative person and an assist-type character, which makes me... Which, which is... The, the big reasons why I can't comprehend or understand why the, so many of these people are saying that they hate Risha. And it's like, she hasn't done anything that be hated on. Like, what? Just because she's not an action-oriented character, they people, like, hate her. And I don't care what people say of, like, denying that. That's clearly what it is. Like, I, don't, I have no care to, like, discuss it with a bunch of people that are just like, oh, she's annoying, and she's useless and stuff, which neither of those she is it's just because she's not a fighter but also at the same time uh the granny was talking to Naofumi saying that like you know the best thing that she is is like informant information and stuff like that but also the granny said that like she is very like highly like her affinity for like key is very exceptional and very high and that she could end up mastering the the muso like martial arts that granny uses and she could be like her heir to that martial art like if we get to see risha being like some martial arts like master or something later on in the series that's gonna be badass and i'm gonna love it so much so um but anyways back to like like thinking about like the episode that like they're going into the um they're going on to the back of the spirit tortoise which also the kingdom which is completely obliterated. I, for some reason, I was thinking that like it wasn't um, uh, on the back of the tortoise. I thought it was just like surrounding it and stuff. So, uh, but it was quite literally on the back of the tortoise, and like pretty much nobody really even survived, which was just heartbreaking. You know, Reftali and Claire and all of them are just like you know very uncomfortable with the situation. Which like you need to be uncomfortable with that situation whenever it occurs. You need to be. Because if you don't and you get used to it, you're losing your empathy and your humanity and, and your sympathy and, and everything. You're losing all that stuff that makes you a person, right? So that whole like scene was sad and heartbreaking stuff. And so they're searching things to look for like, you know, information on how to take down the spirit tours and stuff, because it's, it's, it's not moving right now, but it's going to end up being revived soon, and so they go to, like, this shrine that the queen said that, like, uh, there's a shrine over here, we need to take a look at it and stuff, and so they went to it, 
And uh, some some that was funny though was that like the ancient writing and stuff, like Risha was able to like read it very well and everything, and like was you know it's pretty like easily she can easily read it. But now Fumi is just like so confused and stuff, which I thought was really cute and funny. Um, but as Claire said, like this is where Risha like this is Risha's character. This is who she is. She loves like thinking about like you know like like learning new information and knowledge and stuff and it showed like the spirit tortoise um which is like the guardian uh the guardian beast of the world and everything and uh that was a very cool moment to see and then we got to see japanese writing that now fumi sees and like oh my gosh like like somebody was here from my world or you know japan and whatnot and it's 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 also like the more you think like you think about it again you're like oh yeah these characters don't know Japanese but now Fumi does and so he he pretty much knows or kind of understands what's going with like the the lettering and stuff like that and it's talking about how specifically how you could uh beat the spirit tortoise and what really is the spirit tortoise and but some of them are like you know some of the lettering is like wiped off and stuff because of how old the writing is and everything. And he's talking about how like it's Japanese, which is from a country uh, in my world called Japan and stuff like that. And like he he sees seventh shatter and uh, I forgot what other word it was, but like I, it, it has to obviously do with the seven with the seven star heroes and stuff like somebody is messing with something. It's one of the seven star heroes obviously and the whole thing was collapsing and the queen was like freaking out being like no this is some this is very important like ancient information we gotta we gotta get this we gotta protect this we can't let it go but then you know her shadow like they had to take her out because like the whole shrine was collapsing so then they find out specifically by ost how to get into the spirit tortoise that like you know, this is how you kill it. You have to get to the heart of the spirit tortoise. So going through like the tunnel, which supposedly seems to be like the big intestine that they were all going through, like now Fumi and Raftalia and Philo and all of them. And like, just to see Risha's character being like, when they were going in, they told that like, uh, they told like Eclair and uh, the queen and like, this is now Fumi saying this, told Eclair the queen and granny to go back to the army and stuff while now Fumi and his party go down into the tortoise and everything. And the thing that I love about this whole thing was that like, you know, he, he told the granny to be like, you have to be the commander. You have to be the leader of the army. Like they have to know what to do while I am gone. So you are head commander of the army for right now. And she's like, all right, I'll do it. And then, like, they're talking about what Risha is saying to, like, go to the rear of, like, the army or whatever. And Risha, development right here is like, no, I have to go with you. This isn't just about Itsugi. I have to go with you. I am part of your party right now, even though, you know, like, even though I just joined and I care a lot about Itsugi right now, like, we have to take out this spirit tortoise I am part of your party right now. I am going with you. She's not asking. She's stating that I am going with you too. I am coming. Which was like just... That alone was just good development of her character in general too. So we're seeing her, like all of them being like shocked. Like, wow. All right, let's go. Let's go. Like, like this, this was such a great episode for Risha's character. I can't understand why people hate, it, hate her so much. Like, it doesn't make any any sense. Like, at all. Like, she's having development throughout this whole episode. On top of being, like, giving people empathy of, like, the whole situation and what's going on. So, like, seeing her going with them, they're in, like, the uh, supposedly the large intestine and stuff. But, like, also funny things that were happening was, like, she heard noises. So, she's, like, freaking out, like, all the time, which was really funny to me. To me, in general, I thought it was funny. And, like, just now Fumi talking about, like... That it being the large intestine and Raftali's like, now Fumi, stop it, or whatever. And then him saying that, like, if, if the tortoises eat souls, does it 
does it poop or, or something like that? He's talking about like the serious questions and Raftalia is like feeling uncomfortable about it. And then Philo is like, it doesn't even smell either or whatever. And now Fumi's like, yeah. And like that whole banter was so funny and cute and everything. So then they're going in and then we got to see a couple of characters again from the first season that were actually disguised, but now Fumi and Raftalia knew what was going on, and that is Lark, Teresa, and Glass, bro. I'm so excited for next episode. Why are they there? I don't think exactly that they are trying to destroy, uh, like, that entire world. Maybe they are, and they are with uh, one of their friends or one of their allies from their world. Like, they came to Nafumi's world along with one other person who I believe is the Tome or the, the Tome um, hero, or the, or the grimoire hero, the book hero, that I'm pretty sure we're going to see. And he's manipulating the spirit tortoise. And this is, like, very exciting. And, like, Lark and Teresa, like, I'm so excited to see them again. Like, Lark is kind of funny that, like, you know, these disguises aren't going to work. Teresa was saying this. And then you see Glass with a very interesting hairdo, with a different, very different hairstyle, um, uh, probably because they were trying to disguise themselves and stuff. But I... I, I I feel like we're going to see something that's kind of funny next episode uh, with, like, Glass and her, like, hairstyle. And Nafumi's going to say something funny about it. And, like, Glass is going to be annoyed. And they're going to try and fight or something. But, like, I think it's going to be something that's bigger than just, like, Lark and Teresa and Glass fighting Nafumi again. I don't think that's that's what it's going to be. Um, but if it is, I'm excited about it. There's probably going to be a little bit of a fight. And then, like they're gonna like try to deal with the person that's that's trying to you know manipulate the tortoise and stuff and maybe that person that is manipulating it actually isn't even a part of of lark and and teresa and glass maybe it's not and like the actual spirit tortoise is actually something like from the information that that person wrote in japanese at in the shrine and whatnot seems that like the spirit like in writing, it says, like, the spirit tortoise actually is, or how to actually defeat the tortoise or something like that. That's what it's kind of, like, written, but also it's faded out and stuff just to make it, like, mysterious. And you got to, like, try to figure it out yourself. Maybe the spirit tortoise itself is something that actually, like, doesn't, doesn't only just, like, you know, destroy the world itself, but, like, has the other worlds kind of, like, collapsing on each other to destroy each other. And that's why Lark, Teresa, and Glass are there to actually maybe stop the tortoise or something. And they know about the tortoise. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe the tortoise is is just it's more than just a like a harbinger of disaster for just that world, but it's actually a harbinger of disaster for all of the worlds that they're all like a part of or something. And they're actually going to end up team team working like in this next episode or next couple of episodes. Um, but I'm excited. I'm excited. Again, I love this episode. I love that it was such Risha oriented and everything. I love her character. Um, I loved like how character driven it, it was, you know, not just Risha, but also a little bit of Eclair, a little bit of Reftalia, and, you know, a little bit of, you know, uh, the Granny. Well, just a little bit of everybody pretty much. Um, and I loved it. So I'm excited for next episode. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode for my review. What did you guys think about this episode? What did you guys think about this episode? Leave down in the comments your thoughts, your thoughts about what I said, your thoughts about the episode, your thoughts about um, positively about Risha because I'm I have a headache from from all of like the pointless negativity that was surrounding her from just casual viewers in general. So I'm just annoyed. But um, like, leave down in the comments your positive. Uh, thoughts about her and and the episode and whatnot and um again things about what i said um but uh yeah comment down below like the video if you did like the video if you liked the episode like the video if you liked anything i had to say like the video if you like me in general and subscribe to the channel for more reviews vlogs unboxings live reactions and theater discussion videos and things like that so gentlemen stay classy ladies stay sassy but most important everybody got to stay a little nasty all right so peace and love and i will see y'all later with the next video peace out may the force be with you always plus ultra locked home shield bro coming in hot probably going to be fighting Lark next episode or something. Um, I'm excited about it. I'm, but I'm really, really excited about it. It's, it's exciting. Going to be a good time next week. Um, but anyways, yeah, peace out. And I'll see you guys later with the next review for Shield Hero Season 2.